Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It's my birthday. I'm 55 years old. Not sure how that happened, but here we are. Guess where we're going? We're going to breakfast. That's right. I'm taking myself out for breakfast. My queen just left to go to work, and I slept in, and we both had perfect night's sleep, which is kind of odd. I thought that I would get less sleep than I actually got because... And you're going to hear it now because I'm getting closer to where they are now. All of the freaking landscapers were here this morning. It seems like at the ass crack of dawn and all I could hear was, you know, all the cutting and the blowing and, blah, and all that shit. And I was like, for real? Like, why the hell are they out here so early today? But whatever. Uh, I slept through it. All right. So I didn't realize how hungry I was. So I'm heading to first watch and I'm freaking starved. So I'm going to sit there, going to pull up some cartoons and I'm going to take my sweet ass time and just enjoy a nice leisurely birthday breakfast. So let's go do that. Okay. So this was done really quickly and I have gotten something different. It's like a Southern soul hash or soul Korean hash or something. I don't know. We're going to see how this tastes, but, uh, of course, pretty well done, big. The magical bean. Let's eat. Okay, kids. So while I was sitting in first watch, having my delicious breakfast, I probably won't get that dish again. And even when I, when I was checking out, you know, she said, a lot of times I think you kind of have to be from that region of the world um, to a, be able to appreciate the ingredients and everything. Because it, it's, you know, like if you don't like kimchi, then why would you order that? Um, and she said that one person told her it was too spicy. It was spicy, spicy enough to make my nose run, but it wasn't, it wasn't like, okay, I can't fucking eat this. This is too hot. So it had a little bit of kick to it, but it wasn't too bad. And uh, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't get it again. I think they were a little bit short on the, on the uh, meat that was in it. There was just a lot of kimchi because obviously that's a big filler, kimchi and potatoes. It is now, well, it says it's 46 degrees. It feels a lot warmer, probably because the sun is out and probably because I've been sitting inside a restaurant, you know, guzzling coffee. <laughs> You're shit in your eye. Happy birthday shit, right? I don't have the Christmas lights on again. I'm gonna have to ask about that. Whew. Okay, kids. Hot as balls, and I'm pooped. So I got my tapestry in. Naturally, it's all folded up and jammed into a little pouch, and it was incredibly wrinkly. And I thought, okay, if I try to, to put it up, which they gave these little connectors uh, that, that look like they had pins in them that could be put into the wall, but I used a hammer, smashed my finger, and I still couldn't get that pin to freaking go through the plastic into the wall. And they kept falling and I was like, fuck that. So I went and got my staple gun. But in order to put it up and, and keep it like not completely like ghetto wrinkly, I had to iron it. So I started with this tiny ass little ironing board. Like it was just pathetic. Like I was having to move it and it was just a pain in the ass. So I went down to the garage and I got the big iron and then I poured the water in there to make it steamy and shit because it wasn't doing it. And finally got it all ironed. And then I just staple gunned it up. Now it's a little bit wrinkly at the bottom, but that's okay because I don't care. And you know, you're not gonna see too much of that because I'm gonna be in front of it, but <laughs> ta-da, there it is. All done, that's what I decided to go with. Go with my with my heritage, my Japanese heritage. And to be perfectly honest, with these uh, th like cherry blossoms and stuff, I actually wanted to get that tattooed on my thigh or my entire leg because stuff like this is you know it it resonated with me when I was a child. I thought about having that put on my leg. My right leg is the only part of my body that does not have a tattoo on it. But we'll see. That's that's way in the future. But for now, oh man, so freaking hot in here. And using the iron and then having to hold that thing up by myself and staple it and try to keep it as straight as possible and tight and blah, 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 blah. So that's it. That's what you get. So behind me, here you can see I got my tapestry. And I put it up last night and very quickly realized that I made a mistake. Because I put it all the way to the ceiling when I'm watching on the 
external monitor, I can see that I've got about a foot below at the bottom that you can see the blue instead of the tapestry. And, and then I have all this room way the hell up at the top. And I tried raising my chair. I tried switching where the camera was located on this mobile setup and I was moving it and tilting it. So I had to put it down really low and then tilt it way up and it just, it just wasn't working. So I moved the camera back to where it should be like level with my face. And now I can see that I still, I need to move that entire tapestry down about a foot. That being said, I have about 400 staples now I need to pull out of there because I used my staple gun and I stapled the ever loving shit out of it so that it was pulled tight. <sighs> now I got to pull all those out. Yay. This is what happens when you don't prepare and lay the job out and you just start going crazy. But I also have my laser leveler because I'm thinking, how the hell am I going to move that down? Because the reason it was so easy to do was because I start at the top and I have the entire roof or roof ceiling as a level. Well, now I'm like, well, fuck now I don't, I'm not going to have that. And it's going it, to, you know, I'm going to have to guess and or I'm going to have to do all these crazy measurements. And then I was like, wait a minute, I've got a laser leveler. So I'm going to put the laser leveler up, drop it down about a foot, foot and a half, according to where the laser tells me I should start at the top. And then I'll pull it tight and, and work my way down on both sides. So that's my project for now. I want this done in less than an hour. So I'm not going to film me fumbling about up here, but I am going to get cracking on this and then I'll show you the after. And here we are all done, perfectly set as far as I'm concerned, because now, whoops, this is confusing because it's not mirrored. The pagoda is now in sight, whereas before it was way up there. And this entire branch now is all in, in sight and you can't see the edges because you could see this edge over here. And I actually did a much better job of stapling it to the wall. And I have it, I, I did it in stages so that I was doing it evenly and I have it pulled nice and tight so that uh, all the wrinkles are out and any, any wavy gaps and all that shit. So I'm pretty stoked. I am not thrilled that I didn't think and I dumb monkeyed it and I stapled it all the way to the ceiling and then I had about, we'll say from, God, this is so confusing because there's no mirror image. I'm looking at my Atomos Ninja 5 and even though it's like one of the best recorder monitors on the market, it does not allow you to flip the image. So when I'm moving my right arm over here, it's showing on the left side of the screen. So it, it's, it's, it's messed up, it's messing with me. So anyways, all down below here, probably from about my boobs up. So it was about a foot of blue showing and I had the chair all the way up and I had the camera down probably another eight inches and then angled up and, it, and then now I'm looking down and, and I'm like freaking turkey necking it. Unacceptable. And it didn't take me long to pull all the staples. I just took my time, pulled the staples, and then I got the laser leveler out and I just pulled that seam along the line that was about a foot and a half not even a foot and a half, a little bit over a foot maybe, below the ceiling, but then it was straight. And you can't see it, so even if it isn't straight, it looks great on the screen. <sighs> okay, so that project's done. I did it in under the hour of what I wanted to, and that was with stopping and going and doing other shit and coming in and moving things around and playing with the lighting and everything. Enough blathering, it's set up. I got my new background, I've got the mobile filming unit set up, the camera, the a7 IV, built into the cinema rig. So yes, the studio is finally completed and I couldn't be happier that it's done. And it's done before I even start going into vacation mode. So now I don't have to do that either. I will work on the website and get that completed over this weekend, probably, because that's how I am. I obsess about shit until I get it done. So that'll be done. And then all I gotta do is start doing photo shoots. So. That being said, it is only one o'clock. It is a sunny, gorgeous day. It's probably in the 60s by now. I'm gonna go out and I'm going to not be inside because I've been inside for far too long this week or it's been shitty out. So let's go out and have some fun. All right, now from out here, this is what it looks like because I just finished. As you can see, I hung the boards back up, but now you can see gap at the top 
It goes down well below where my ass would be. So you definitely can't see that. And it's all nice and tight. Put up there with staples probably maybe every five to six inches to make sure that even if one pops, it isn't going anywhere. Okay, now let's go outside and have some fun. Here's shit in your eye. Oh, so necessary, so delicious. Thanks Zeus for three ships. What are you doing? Are you trying to eat my jewelry? <laughs> He's trying to eat my jewelry. Okay, you're bored with me. Okay, her being gotten. Uh, I got a bunch of shit at, uh, I almost said Trader Joe's, at Target. Is out of kitty litter, out of the little poop bags that go in the little poop holder and all that stuff. Um, I just started going through and just grabbing shit that I could remember that we needed off the top of my head. I'm sure I forgot a lot and, uh, you know, I'll have to go back tomorrow, but for today I'm all done. So it's 342 now. I'm going to take her herb bean. I probably should have gone to like Pleasure House Point today because I think today is the last nice day and it goes back to being shit tomorrow meaning a lot of rain. I, I literally think there's supposed to be rain constant tomorrow, which means I'm not going out and doing any kind of photographs, but I can start doing more shit in-house. So that's what I'll probably do. But for now, there really isn't much else for me to tell you or show you. So I'm gonna just call it and say, that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.